In this video, I will walk you through the container settings and we will also understand its functions. Container is the area within where we display our content. If you take a look at our site, you will see the virtual boxes. These are the containers within where our content is displayed. Let's see how we can configure the container settings. Go to Customize to access the Customizer settings. Go to Layouts and the first option is Container. Here, you can increase or decrease the container width. So you can either increase it or you can decrease it. It is standard to have 1170 as the container width of your site. Then you can also define the global layout for your container. It can either be boxed, content boxed or unboxed. You can play around with the options and select the one that you like the most. Next is full width centered max width. This option sets the container width for a full width centered layout. To demonstrate this particular option, I'm going to go over to blog and I will open one of the blog posts that has a full width centered layout. So you can easily set the maximum width for a layout with full width center. Next is the container vertical spacing. This sets the spacing right at the top. And also at the bottom of your container. The last option is container stretched padding. To demonstrate this option, let's go to our blog page. Now, if you remember, let's go back. For most of our blog page and the rest of the page and post settings, we had an option called stretch layout. When we enabled this option, it stretched the container width to the end of the screen. Let's go back and we will go back to layouts and to container. And this is where the container stretched padding comes to use. You can set the padding towards left or towards the right when you have enabled the stretch layout option. So if you just set it to zero, it stretches the container width to the extreme end of the screen. But if you want to add some padding to the left and also to the right of the containers, then you can do that from here. You can add in the value, which will add padding to the left and the right side of the container when the stretch layout option is enabled. After you are done, don't forget to click on publish to save your changes. So that was it. If you have any questions, please leave them down in the comment section below or you can directly reach out to our support team with the help of the link I have added in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching this video and if you are liking the video so far, please give our videos a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also, don't forget to press on the bell icon for notifications to never miss any future updates. I will see you in our next video.